This video is an overview of verb endings for the present tense and the active voice. So verb endings tell you about the person and the number of the subject. Verb, person, and number give you information about the subject of the verb, who is doing the action of the verb, which is referred to as the person, and how many are there, which is the number. In English, the first person singular pronoun is I, and my sample verb is I drive. In English, the second person singular is you, my sample verb you drive. The third person singular is he, she, or it drives. First person plural, we drive. Second person plural, you drive, but you can differentiate from the singular by adding in a you all, y'all drive. Third person plural, they drive. Greek differentiates the person and number by changing the ending of the verb. So for first person singular, it's elauno with the ending o to show I drive. Second person singular, elaunes, the ending ace signals that you drive. Third person singular, elaune, ending a, is the third person singular. First person plural, elaunomen, ending omen, signals we drive. You will not formally learn this form of the verb until chapter 4 alpha. Second person plural is elauneta, with the ending eta. Again, you will formally learn this in chapter 4 alpha. Third person plural, they drive, ending is usi for elaunusi. The endings that we just talked about are all indicative mood. The indicative mood is the mood of the verb that you use to make statements and ask questions. We've also learned forms for the imperative mood. The imperative mood is the form of the verb that you use to make commands. All imperatives are by nature second person because all imperatives are addressed to an understood subject, you, that is usually not stated in English nor in Greek. So we want to look at the singular and the plural. The singular imperative in English would be drive, and the plural imperative in English would also be drive. Again, you can differentiate by throwing in a you all, drive. In Greek, the ending for the singular is e, so to command one person to drive, you say elaune. To command multiple people to drive, it's elaunete, with the ending ete. We've also learned the endings for the infinitive. The infinitive is not a mood at all, but it is a verbal noun. However, the terms infinitive, imperative, and indicative are mutually exclusive. If you're trying to parse a word, it will only be one of those three. The word infinitive means unbounded by person and number. So infinitives do not have person or number. They do have tense and voice, however. So the English version of the infinitive is to drive. The Greek ending for the infinitive is ain, as in our sample verb, elaunain. The end.